Hi everybody. So right now I'm going to walk you through how to make a copy of an artwork file in Google Draw. And then we're going to start thinking about the typography on our e-card. I'll show you the typographic decisions that I'll be making on my e-card as well. Okay, so to make a copy of this file, all you do is open the Google Draw file that we've linked to on the Advocacy Assembly site, though I already have it open here. To make a copy, you just go over to the menu, hit File, then scroll down to make a copy and select that. And then this window will pop up where you can enter a new document name. And since I'm making an e-card for small media, I'm just going to call it Small Media e-card. And then I'll hit OK. And you can see that another tab has popped up in your browser window that's named with uh, the title that you've given it. Now, this file size has been formatted to the current size of an image posted on Twitter, which is 440 pixels wide by 220 pixels high. Though, if you wanted, you could change the dimensions according to which social media platform you'd like to put your e-card on. I've added a handout with a link where you can find size conventions for other platforms. But remember, these formats are continually updated by social media companies, so be sure to check back for updates every once in a while. Now, if you want to change the size of your e-card, you change it by going back to the drop-down menu, and then you'll select File, Page Setup, And then you'll have another window. And right now uh, we have inches as our units, but we'll change that and select pixels. And then here you can enter in the appropriate pixel dimensions and then select OK. This file has some of the basic components that you'll be designing your e-card with. A place for your logo, some text, and space for a photo or illustration. Right now, the text we have is quite basic. You'll be replacing this text with content suited to your organization, so think about what you would like your e-card to say and write down the text that you would like to use for your heading, your subheading, and your call to action. By double-clicking your mouse on these three text boxes, You'll be able to select the text box and type in the text that you would like on your e-card. So do that now. Don't worry if your text doesn't fit in the space provided. I'll show you how to fix that in a bit. So since my e-card is to promote Small Media's Revolution Decoded report, I've decided to use the full title of the report here as I think there's enough information found in the report title to get people on Twitter interested. So for this, Revolution Decoded will be my main heading. I'll add that now. Okay, and it looks like my type is a little bit big, so I'll just highlight my text. And then go up to the toolbar and change the font size to a little bit smaller so we can see it. Now for the subheading, I'll put the subtitle of the report, Iran's Digital Media Landscape. Okay, and that's a little big too, so, so we can see it. Let's highlight this text, then I'll change that up here. Okay. Now, for my call to action, I'll add download the full report. And I just put this here um, to compel my audience to download and read the report themselves. 
Now that you've added in your text content, let's change the typeface to suit the content and your organization. Right now, all of the words are set in Arial, a basic typeface. So if you just click on it, click on the text, a toolbar will pop up and you'll see Arial as the name of the typeface right there. So you do have the option to change this, of course. So all you need to do is just select Arial in the toolbar and then a drop down menu will appear with lots of different font options here. So if you want to see more, you just scroll down to the bottom and select more fonts for more options. So while you're choosing your typeface, just ask yourself, what typeface do you think would best communicate your selected message? What typeface will suit the tone and feeling of your organization's brand? Once you've made a decision, just change all three lines of text in the text boxes to this typeface. For my e-card, my typographic decisions are relatively straightforward as they've already been decided for me. I'm going to use the typographic decisions made in the report's website design and use these typefaces in my e-card. I find that extending design decisions across multiple formats is an easy way of creating consistency across brand communications. So since the typeface on the website is PT Sans, that's what I'm going to use in my e-card. So to change my typeface here, I'll just select all of the text boxes, then go up to the toolbar, click on the, the type name, and then on the drop-down menu, select PT Sans. And so now that I've changed that, I also have noticed that the type on the website is all caps and it's bold. I like this bold all caps typeface because I think it makes an impact on the screen and I think it's a good way to ensure that when people see my e-card they'll take notice. So I'll take this type style and I'll apply it to my e-card as well. Now Google doesn't have an easy way of converting text to all caps so I'll just type it in now. And just to make it fit better, I'll put it on two lines for the time being. And I'll also make this all caps too. And to make that fit better, I'll just put that on two lines. And there you have it for this lesson. Now on to the next one.